Hey everyone, it's Sarah and today I am here to share my Royalty Scents box with you for the month of July. So uh, this just came in the mail a couple days ago and I was super excited to get it as I always am. Um, I love how these come packaged. I love these little boxes that they come in. So this is what mine looked like this month. I always appreciate this beautiful little tissue that they put on the top with the thank you sticker. It's just such a nice little touch. This month I got two really beautiful fragrances. I got a Tom Ford and I also got a Christian Dior, uh, one of the Privé, uh, sorry, a fragrance from the Privé line. So the first one I got is Tom Ford Jonquille or Jonquille de Nuit. Um, this is beautiful. This is also another new atomizer. It's this really cool kind of textured black atomizer, which I adore. So um, I know I give you the same spiel every time I do a Royalty Sense box uh, unboxing, but I, I just want to make sure that you guys, if you're new to my channel and have not seen one of these videos before, that you know exactly what I'm talking about. So Royalty Sense is a monthly subscription box. It is $19.95 a month for one fragrance and I believe $34.95 a month for two fragrances. It is my by far my favorite subscription service. They carry amazing um, niche and high-end fragrances. You can get Creed, you can get um, Tom Ford, you can get Louis Vuitton, um, you can get the high-end lines for like Dolce & Gabbana, like their Velvet line, um, you can get the Christian Dior Privé line. All of these fragrances that I'm showing you, Dias & Durga, um, just they carry they just have an elevated selection, I should say, because I feel like if I'm going to pay for a monthly subscription box and I'm going to pay for a decant of something, that I want decants that I'm not going to find anywhere else, um, or that if I do find them somewhere else, they're going to be incredibly overpriced, which a lot of times decants of that quality are incredibly overpriced. So I love that I can try out perfumes like this for $20 a month or for $34 a month for two. Um, I just think it's a great way to be able to test out some really, really expensive fragrances. So that is my spiel on uh, Royalty Scents for any of the any of you who have not seen any of these videos before. Um, I always have a link down in the description box. There's it's just a link. There's no affiliation. Um, I but I do just provide it for your convenience if you're interested. So, anyways, let's get back to the perfume. This is Jonquil de Nuit, and this is like a. Um, this is a vintage style fragrance. It's definitely, oh gosh, it smells, it smells like those beautiful, heavy florals from the 80s. That's what this smells like, it's gorgeous. Uh, so this is Cyclamen, Mimosa, Angelica, Violet Leaf, Bitter Orange, Sorry, Bitter Orange Blossom, Narcissus, Oris, and Amber. So it is though, it has those um, sharp florals. The Narcissus is a sharp white floral that I adore. Cyclamen, again, more of a green floral. It's not like an overly sweet floral. The Bitter Orange Blossom, which is also quite a sharp note. So there is like a sharpness to this, but it's it really just ends up smelling like a vintage, beautiful vintage floral from the 80s. Very, very nice. Perfect for this time of year, really any time of year. It's definitely got that like Tom Ford stamp. It's definitely, um, you know, out, probably outside of a lot of people's comfort zones but I adore it. I love fragrances that take me back to the 80s and this one definitely does. Again, that is Jonquille or Jonquille de Nuit from uh, Tom Ford. And the second one is Rose Gypsy from the Christian Dior Privé line. 
and this was one you guys know I'm on a rose kick so I was super excited to get this one another gorgeous atomizer this one is black and white sorry black and red and it is a very beautiful smooth shiny atomizer uh, another thing about this subscription service you get a new atomizer with every fragrance so you're not having to pop out um, decants and stick them into one shared atomizer which is great this is gorgeous i am wearing this fragrance today it's a beautiful rose this is rose to my green notes dewdrop spicy notes and floral notes this there's nothing really special about this one this is this is just a typical very light fresh green dewy watery rose this is like the rose and the stem all in one. It's a green rose. It's got some spicy notes. Um, it's not like an overly, it's not an overly rose fragrance. So you're definitely not going to have to worry about smelling um, dated in any way. It's not like a vintage rose. It's a beautiful, fresh, light, airy, modern rose fragrance. I love this one. The only problem is it lasts about an hour and then it's gone, which I have found that that happens with a lot of fragrances from the Christian Dior Privé line, unfortunately, but I am still very happy to have a decant of this one in my collection because it's gorgeous. So anyways, that is Rose Gypsy from Christian Dior Privé line. So anyways, guys, those are the two fragrances that I got from Royalty Scents this month. Please let me know down below in the comment section what you got from Royalty Scents this month if you are subscribed. I hope you found it helpful. If you did, don't forget to give it a big thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe before you leave, and I will see you in my next one. Bye!